Hello, and welcome to the Allegheny Arts Council's Art on Demand. My name is Bobby Croft, and I am a local artist and art educator that will lead you through today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to create a scratchboard dragon to celebrate Chinese New Year. For this project, you're going to need a piece of white drawing paper, a pencil, warm color crayons. So warm colors are colors that we would associate or link to hotter temperatures. So the warm colors are red, yellow, and orange. Black paint. I use acrylic paint that you could buy at a craft store, or you could use black temper paint, either will work. And a paintbrush. To begin with, we are going to create our scratch board for this project. Now, scratch board is a drawing technique that allows an artist to scratch away uh, color to show color underneath. And to do this, the first step is to cover our drawing paper in really thick crayon. So for our project, we're going to be creating a Chinese New Year's dragon. And Chinese New Year's dragons are um, typically red. So we're going to use those warm colors. So to create your scratch board on your drawing paper, you're going to want to add really thick crayon. It's really important that you're using crayon for this. Crayon is made out of wax, and wax will allow us to paint a layer of black paint on top and then scratch away that black paint to show the color with, uh, underneath. So it's really important that we are using crayon, and you're going to notice that I'm pressing really hard on the paper because I want to make sure that I'm getting really, really, really thick crayon on there, thick wax, okay? So you can create patterns if you want to. You can make it one solid color if you want to. You can do a mod podge of different colors. I'm going to show you an almost finished scratch board crayon where all I have to do is add just this little bit here, okay? You want to make sure that you are filling in any white spaces. Any white spaces that you see before you add paint will result in that spot not being scratchable, meaning that the paint is going to stick to the paper and not to the wax. So take a few moments and cover the entire drawing paper with really thick crayon. So now that you have the crayon added to your drawing paper, the next step is to paint a layer of black paint over top of your crayon. Once again, with Scratchboard, what we're going to be doing is scratching away the black paint to show the color underneath. So to do this, you're going to notice that I put um, some scrap paper or a table covering underneath of my work uh, because we're going to paint right up to the edge of our paper. So I'm going to put a little bit of black paint into a palette or um, a piece of scrap plastic that you have laying around. And then I'm going to load up my paintbrush and I'm going to paint a layer of black paint on top of my crayon. You want to make sure that there are no globs of paint on your paper. You want it to be nice and smooth. All the way around and you're going to paint right over the edge of your paper. So that's why I suggested having a table cover there so you don't get black paint on your table. Now you may notice as you're painting that some of the color is peeking through and that's natural. Crayon made out of wax is going to naturally resist or block some of the black paint. To resolve this, you're going to paint a layer of black paint, then you're going to walk away from it for a little while and let it dry. And then you'll come back and you'll paint a second layer of black paint. And usually after that second layer, your paint is a solid black with none of the color showing through. If that is not the case, paint a third coat of paint and usually by then you are good to go. 
So after you've painted your second and maybe third coat of paint onto your project, you're going to allow this to dry overnight before you move on to the next step. Now that your scratch board has had a chance to dry, the next step is to lightly draw our dragon design onto our scratch board. So with scratch board, when you start scratching your design into the scratch board itself, uh, it is very difficult to correct any errors that you may have made. So it's really important that you take the time to plan out what you want your dragon to look like. Maybe you'll look up some images online. Maybe you will, uh, on a piece of scrap paper, uh, sketch out what you want to do for your project. So take the time to figure out what you want your, your dragon to look like before you move on to your scratch board. When you're ready to move on to your scratch board, you're going to, using a pencil, draw super light on your paper or on your scratch board. In fact, chances are you can't even see what I'm drawing here because I'm drawing so light. You want to avoid pressing too hard into your scratch board at this point because any scratches that you make into your scratch board are permanent. Um, the only way to fix uh, mistakes in a scratch board is to uh, repaint parts of it. So if you do end up making a mistake or you do end up scratching too hard into your scratch board, um, you can take some paint and fix it, but then you would have to let it dry. So I'm going to lightly draw in my dragon here. I'm going to think about different um, textures I can add or different patterns I can add. I might even think about adding a background to my dragon. Um, these pencil lines, I'm going to eventually carve through the paint to show the color underneath. So most of these pencil lines will not show in the final um, project. Um, if you do make a mistake with a pencil, uh, just be very, very um, cautious that if you try to erase that you're not erasing through the paint. You could actually scratch the paint away. Okay, so continue working on your dragon design, and then when you're ready um, to move on, uh, you can move on to the next part of the lesson. Now that we have our dragon lightly drawn onto our scratch board, we can start everybody's favorite step, which is to scratch our uh, design into our scratch board. So to do this, you're going to use your pencil, and you're going to press fairly hard now onto your design, and you're going to scratch right through the paint to show the color underneath. To do this, I'm using a pencil, and I'm pressing, once again, fairly hard into, into my paper to scratch away, chip away at the paint. And there you have your very own scratch board artwork. Think about using this technique and draw different images. Think about using different colors in the background. You can do whatever you wish with this technique now. And we would love to see your work at the Allegheny Arts Council. So please use the information on the screen and send us an image of your work. Have a great afternoon.